All right, guys, it's Justin here, and welcome back to the Infocom 2014. This is Jason, and he's going to talk to us about cascading mixers. Hey, how's it going, guys? So tell me a little bit about what's going on right here, and how do you make your black magic voodoo work? Well, um, so you might need to move the camera out and pan to get all this, because this is 64 channels it's of, a yacht. It's a yacht uh, of mixer. cascaded mixer here, right? Mm. Now, first, first uh, thing to, to take note of. There's a difference between linking and cascading. So linked mixers, you just got two 30 channel, 32 channel mixers. Cascaded, you've got a 64 channel board essentially. So it works as one unit. Um, you know, you could link on the Studio Live Classics, but uh, with the AI boards, uh, you're able to actually record even whenever you're linked. So not only do you have a 64 channel live console, uh, you've also got 64 channels of high quality audio recording over time. So you're simultaneously recording, but tell me a little bit, if you cascade, you have an entire mixer, 64 inputs. How does it function? You have 64 inputs. How do your auxes, how do your subs work? How does all that work? Uh, so it, in this case, we've got 232 uh, boards, so we've got 14 auxes. Uh, you're able to send channels from either board to any of the 14 auxes. There are 14 global auxes. Uh, you've got uh, subgroups that you can selectively either merge or, or have them separate and local. So uh, if, if you've got them merged, then you've got four subgroups. Uh, channels from e either mixer can be assigned to those subgroups. Uh, if you leave them unmerged, then you've got uh, twice the subgroups, uh, but they're local only. So. Okay, so that means that only these channels will go to these subs if it's unmerged, right. and those channels go to those subs. Okay, so another thing, and I think you mentioned it before, was not only can we cascade 232s, but we can do different types of mix. Yes, you can actually, uh, so the, one of the new things with the AIs is you can uh, cascade unlike mixers. So say you've got a 32, you find out that, wow, I actually need more channels now, but, uh, you know, 32 more channels would maybe be overkill. You could just pick up a 16, add it to the 32, you've now got, what's that, 56? I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I can count, but let me tell you, let me say this. you got a 32 in front of house, and you have a 16 in monitors, or it's over in the youth group room, or your buddy has a 16, and just for one show, you want to put them together to get kind of a bigger yeah, mixer. You, you can do that. Flexibility. It's, it's basically a modular approach. So, yeah. Okay, so uh, we have cascading, and pretty soon there's going to be some 96K uh, happening, correct? Uh, that is the plan. We'll have 96K recording capability, uh, and that is including with uh, cascading. So. so we'll be able to not only cascade, but cascade and get 96K with a recording. Yeah, 64 channels of 96K. I don't think they make a computer yet that can do that. <laughs> but, may, but we'll be may, ready. But, but maybe, yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Great. So thank you, Jason. We're going to cruise over and talk to Joe about Dante. Hey Joe, uh -oh. would you like to do get interviewed really quickly? Network audio cool. Network network audio cool. Yes, network audio cool. Okay, so I'll explain quickly what we've got here. We've got a PC laptop because yes, you can use PC even though we love our Macs, and you can see this really exciting red uh, cable that's actually going to a switch. And if you look up here, you've also got some red cables going to really every AIPA box that's hanging on this truss. So tell me a little bit about what we got going on, and is there any special proprietary switching going on or anything like that? Nope. As far as the network, it's a standard Ethernet network, okay? You can use 100 megabit or gigabit. Gigabit gives you more channels, all right? It's using the Dante protocol from Audinate, really awesome protocol. Uh, you have to run, if you're running from a PC, you've got to run Dante Virtual Sound Card and then Dante Controller as well, so you can route it. It's just basically like a big patch bay, all right? So we have two audio channels coming out of Studio Live here, or... Uh, Ah. Studio, one. Studio One, there yes. we go. And then uh, those are being routed to each of our speakers up here through Dante Controller. Okay, I'm going to stop you. Okay. So you're saying that audio is going through this coiled cable into a regular off-the-shelf from Costco switch uh -huh. out of these cables and into this with no audio XLR cables. Yep. Ethernet is managing all the timing, all the signal allocation, everything. So in an addition to actually sending audio over Ethernet, we're actually able to control with SL Room Control, which is our proprietary application. So we're sending control signal, and we're also sending audio. Yes, that is correct. You are confirming that that is happening in real life. Yep. You want to see it? I would love to see that. So we are 
as we mentioned before, we're transmitting Dante, but then you have this nifty little application called SL Room Control. Which so I, I can actually hear the music playing out of the speaker. And if you'll notice, there's only a Cat5 cable plugged into this box. There's no analog audio cable plugged into the box. So, and you just turned it up, right? Uh -huh. From SL Room Control. <laughs> so, so SL, this application right here. Yes, SL Room Control expands your ability to control your 328, 315, all your different AI speakers with uh, basic EQ capability, mute, solo, and grouping and management. So all the stuff you uh, need to do in order to do like a mini drive rack in this thing, right. you've got it built into your speaker now. And re remote controllable by PC, Mac, or you know your iPad device as well. Also, if you have a touchscreen enabled PC, you can yeah. just mute your speaker by touching the screen. No big deal. Yeah. Also, this, this application runs on a uh, iPad, correct? That's correct. So we have iPad, it runs on a PC or a Mac computer, and this is actually just hardwired into the Switch, yeah? Yep which is also a regular switch I think we mentioned before. Yeah, just a regular off-the-shelf Ethernet switch. So no audio between here there, no FireWire, no nothing else, just Ethernet. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, that's uh, the first Dante-enabled loudspeaker in the galaxy per Ron Kolaha. So thanks for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.